What's up everybody? Remember that video I did where I showed you how to upload pictures directly to Instagram with a Chrome browser? Well today, we're going to revisit that. I'm going to show you how to do it with virtually every single web browser. No apps necessary. Let's get started. Alright, so the first browser I'm going to show you how to do this with is going to be Chrome. Now I did another video on how to use the Chrome browser to upload pictures directly to Instagram, but some people had some problems, so I just wanted to show you how to resolve the issues that you might face when you upload from Chrome. Alright, so I'm going to log into Instagram. Alright, so I'm logged in. This is my user account over here. Now besides subscribing to this channel, follow me on Instagram too. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my developer tools. So I'm going to right click inspect and then down here you're going to get these developer tools what you want to do is you want to make sure this is toggled on toggle device toolbar control shift m so you want this to be for the mobile responsive now some people will do this and they won't get the camera icon in the bottom that's typical it happens because of your browser cache so an easy way to deal with that is just to refresh your browser and you see you now get the camera icon right there so you just click on the camera icon Choose the image you're going to be uploading. Click on the next link over there. Over here, you'll put your caption. So this is my caption right here. And then I'll just put in my hashtags. So I have my hashtags here. I'm going to paste them in. Now you see I have my caption and I have my hashtags over here. So I'll just share. And now that's uploaded. Instagram video coming in a few. All right, so that's how you do it in Chrome. So if you're facing the issue, if you don't see the camera icon, when you first inspect elements and toggle the mobile responsive toolbar over here, just refresh your browser and you'll be good to go. So that's with Chrome. Now let's try another browser. Let's say you don't want to use Chrome. Let's say you want to use Firefox. All right, so let's do that. I'm going to X out of Chrome. I'm going to start up Firefox. I'm going to go to Instagram.com and then make sure you're logged in. So I'm logged into my account over here. You see the image I just posted up from Chrome and now I'm in Firefox. So this one's a little bit different. When you go over here to inspect element, we're going to bring the developer tools up a little bit. What you're going to do here, you're going to look for this icon over here. This is the responsive design mode. You click on that. And again, you're not going to see anything over here initially. So what you're going to have to do, let me just lower this real quick, is you're going to go over here to no device selected, select a device. So I'll select the Apple iPhone 6 Plus. And now you get the icons down here. You could X out of the opening app. And just click on the camera icon and again you're going to be presented with your folder so i'm going to click on this image over here open it click on next over here i'll write my caption all right so i have my caption there and now i'm going to get my hashtags so i just pasted my hashtags there so i have my caption over here and i have my hashtags over here and now i'm going to share this as well your photo was posted and we see it here now all right so now we just did it with chrome and with firefox now, if you're using Microsoft Edge, there's also a way to do it with that. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let me X out of this. Go down here. Go to Instagram. Make sure you log in. All right, so you see the first photo that I uploaded from the Chrome browser. And then you see the second photo that I uploaded from Firefox. So now we're inside the Edge browser itself. So how do you do it here? If we inspect Element, what can we do? For this browser, we're going to go to the emulation tab over here and we're going to choose a different user agent string. And let's say we're going to use the Apple Safari iPad. And that was easy. All right, so what I did was I just right clicked, inspect element, went to the emulation tab over here and chose the user agent string of Apple Safari iPad. And now from here, click on the um, camera icon. I'll select this image, open, click on next. So I have my caption over here and let me go get my hashtags. All right, so I'm going to put my hashtags there. So I have my caption and my hashtags and then I'll click on share. Your photo was posted and you see it's there now. All right, so we just did it from Chrome, Firefox and Edge. So I'm on my workstation PC over here. This is what I use to develop websites. But now I'm going to jump onto my MacBook Pro because I do not have Safari here. And you could also upload pictures directly to Instagram from the Safari browser. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so now I'm in the Safari web browser. I'm on my MacBook Pro. You see I'm in Safari here. You see the other images that I uploaded. The first one from Chrome, 
Firefox and Edge. And now I'm going to show you how to do it in Safari. It's a little bit different. What you do is you go over here to develop, go to user agent, and just choose uh, Safari iOS 10 iPhone. And then you get the camera icon towards the bottom. That's it. Very easy to do. So I'm just going to click on the icon. I'm going to choose an image. So I'm using this image of uh, Dana White and myself. Then I'll just put in my hashtags. All right, so now we have our hashtags and we have my caption there. All right, so now that we have the caption and the hashtags, click on share. Your photo was posted. Refresh the browser and we see the photo right there. All right, so that's how you upload photos directly to Instagram from your MacBook, from your iMac, from your MacBook Pro, from your Windows computer, just using your web browser. You could do it with Chrome. Just make sure you refresh the browser when you're inspecting the elements. You could use Firefox, you could use Microsoft Edge, and you could use Safari. So that's pretty much all the main web browsers to cover. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. I wanted to revisit the topic of uploading to Instagram. As a web designer and web developer, I'm always looking for new ways to get things done. And since I like to edit photos with Photoshop or with Canva, it's just a lot easier for me to upload directly from my computer. So if you found the video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification icon down below. And if you need a website, visit PicksomeWeb.com. I will see you in the next video. Take care.